What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and tonight we're going to do another Let's Describe It lesson. So I'm going to focus on just a part of my kitchen, and then we're going to describe all the different things that we see. So, instead of just going on about it, let's begin! Okay guys, so we're just going to cover this part of the kitchen right here, because I think that's enough words for like one lesson. Now, I just need to say before I begin, it's a little bit dirty, and I blame that on the cat and the wife because I haven't cleaned up. Um, obviously, it's not my duty to clean up because I'm a god and I don't clean stuff. Okay, so first up, what do we have here? We've got the kettle, okay? And the word for kettle, I love stroking kettles, I don't know why. The word for kettle is bolillo, or you could be fancy, you could say bolcurucho, depending on how awesome you are. Um, there was a mixer here, so there's only half a mixer. The word for mixer is mixilo. Since we only have half of it, I guess that's duon mixilo. <laughs> Um, mixilo. Um, so here we have like a toaster, so that would be rostilo. Obviously a toaster makes toast and that's rostita panno. Um, this thing is like a, um, a sieve, I think that's what you call it in English. Sorry, my English vocab is terrible. Um, this is just a cribrillo um, in Esperanto. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, we have a mug. I'm gonna hide that web address because I don't want to promote them. Um, so yeah, this Obviously you guys, oh damn it, I just showed the web address. Um, this here is a Tasego, you should remember that from the previous lesson. What do we got here? We got a Covrilo just here. Get this bugger out of the way. Get out of here! Um, we got a Ventumilo just here, I don't know why. Oh yeah, that's right, the keep the smoke out of the kitchen. Uh, what do we got here? We got Bovlo. Oh, okay, let's go to the Mangelado. Okay, so Mangelado um, is basically the eating instrument. So what do we got? We got a knife, Taranchilo, Taranchilo. <laughs> Um, we got a culero here, so a spoon, and we got a forco. Now this one here is something that we use all the time in my household, and you would in most Asian households. Um, obviously this is chopsticks. Now in Esperanto, since the time of the dinosaurs, the word for chopsticks has been manjo bastonetoi. But could you imagine living in Japan or China and saying 10 times a day? It'd be crazy. So there's actually another word which is becoming more popular for chopsticks and it's hashio. And you'll find it in a lot of dictionaries. I think it comes from Japanese. Uh, we've got a bovlo, we've got boteloi, uh, vitara botello just there. Um, oh, okay, so you see this here? This is a, a power point, a power connector thingy, bobby, and umo. No. Um, so. This is one of those things that hasn't quite standardized just yet in Esperanto. You'll see different words for it, but okay. So I'm just going to teach you the words that I use. Uh, it's the same words I believe that they have in um, like most places. But you know, it's one of those things because households in Esperanto aren't quite standardized yet. So this here is a connect scatolo, okay? Um, which would be like a connecting box type of thing. You've got the two little switches here, so you've got shaltilo, shaltilo. Um, you've got the plug here, so a connectilo, and that's a connectingo. So a connectilo is a connecting tool. Connectingo is like this, is like a sheaf for a connection type of thing. Yeah, not the best way to describe, but that's what I go with. Um, we've got, okay, so you've got this rack here for the dishes, so you could call this teler rako, or just rako if you're lazy like me. Um, some more bovloi, teleroi, um, some plates here, teleroi. Uh, okay, so this thing here is like interesting, it's like a mixture between like this thingy bob here and a massive spoon, so if you wanted to be really technical, I guess you could call this a giganta kuled Caribrillo, if you really wanted to, but I'd just call it Caribrillo or um, Culer de Caribrillo or just Gigante Culero. Yeah, it's up to you. Um, we've got like all these like cloths here, okay, and I, I guess the technical word for a dishcloth is um, Sekigilo, but um, not, not Sekigilo. Oh, well, no, technically that's fine, but you, it's actually Sekigtuko, okay, but these aren't really like proper cloths and this one's actually wet so it's not drying anything anytime soon. I just call them tukachoi, <laughs> to be honest, because really they're just ripped off of old shirts and stuff. Um, you've got the main part of the sink here, so this is a lavuio. Um, we've got a dirty knife in here, so malpura taranchilo. It looks like it's got some Vegemite on it. I should just try and lick that. No, no, I won't do that. I don't want to make you guys puke or vomit. Okay, so yeah, we got the actual tap here, which is obviously the main part of the sink. Um, so this is the crano. Um, that's what tap is, crano. Uh, this like tubey part here that's called tubo, that makes sense, tune. Um, we've got, uh, this here is kind of like a shaltilo, um, or you could call it an aquo shaltilo if you really want to be technical about it, but I'll just call it shaltilo, um, which is like the, the 
you know, that thingy bob. Sorry, my English sucks tonight. Ah, uh, what do we got? We got a Vian Tranchillo just here. We've got a Tranch Tabulo just here. Um, we've got... So there's heaps of different words you could use for this technically, but you know, the word I'd use is Vazlezivo. Um, you've also got a Brosso just here, so a brush. Sorry, my camera just went a little bit crazy then. Um, you've got a, a cheese grater here, which is Raspillo, Raspillo. Um, Frotolavillo, Frotolavillo, some more Frotolavillo, all sorts of types. Um, I forget the word for these, you know, the things that scrub stuff that I never do. Um, you've got soap, supper, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't want to overload you guys. That is just that part of the kitchen. I guess I'll go through my cupboards next time or something, or, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure something to go through. I'll ravage through something. Why ravage? I don't know. But that's it. Um, yeah. So, if you've enjoyed this random little lesson of mine, give it a like, share it around with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, I will get my meat knife, and we'll have some fun. <laughs> and as always, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, who are Lupe, Tommy Lindsley, Shane Power, Alexander Tolfess, and Colt Arm, Robert Nielsen, Jay Zegnapu, Jao Figadier, Sarah Essi, and Slava Shkalaev. And if you want to donate to my channel so that it can grow and become better and more awesome, you can through the link below in the description.